Human. Onion, pepper, even cinnamon. All the aromas of a great gumbo cook-off. And to think I get to judge it this year. This girl's moving up. It wouldn't be fair to allow you into the competition again. I'll take that as a compliment. It wasn't given as one. That's why I had to take it. Tiana, I see you saved the best for first. <laughs> I grew up eating your spicy sweet gumbo. It was always one of my favorites. That's why I wanted to surprise you. More peppers, a bit more sugar. My gumbo has finally grown up too. <laughs> Water, milk, sweet tea, or ice. Naveen, what are you doing here? As your humble husband, I know I'm ineligible in every sense. But this was the only way I could think of to get you to try my cooking for a change. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> Pineapple and licorice? You just never know how things are going to go together, do you? Mmm. My gumbo is like my jazz. Free-flowing, open to inspiration. Mm -hmm. I just keep adding things as I get the hankering. Flavor on flavor. Mmm, smells good. Tomato, peppers, cabbage. Mm -hmm. And crawdad, peat moss, paprika, pinch of salt, mushroom, swamp water, and onion. Mm. Mama Odie, if your gumbo recipe is as magic as your magic, you're storing up a nice surprise. Nah, <laughs> you don't know half what this here magic gumbo pot can do. A good gumbo gotta cast a mighty spell on your taste buds. <laughs> Else, why bother? I reckon that's why we keep our recipes under lock and key. <laughs> oh, yes, indeedy. For you, I can share. There were so many great gumbos today. And from so many of my close friends. <laughs> In fact, picking one of them almost wouldn't seem fair. So, this year's winner is... Travis! Huh? Mine was just ketchup and celery. 